hello 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 everyone welcome back to my video this is rosie rosette 2020 pal okay so let's jump into it you know like okay so listen i i know i don't normally make videos about the black beef sector and youtube i don't do i watch them daily yes i do i watch five a lately daily Sean Bradley. Um, I used to watch Jay, Jay Wilson until we got into it and he blocked me. Uh, I used, ooh, I used to love me some Jay Wilson. Um, I have watched I Bay who talks about Five Bay. Um, and then who's the big guy? Who's the guy that Five Bay talks about? Spill it tea. Is that his name? She. Someone referred to him. What is his name? I don't know. Anyway, Five Five Bay talks about him a lot. Oh, I don't know. What is his name? Spill it, boy. Spill it tea. Someone said something because I was saying something when they were like, "Oh, you must be." I don't know that guys. He's really big. He's really fat. I think he's a drag queen. He's dark. Um, real boring. I don't. Know. Okay. Anyway, um, Tracy. Tracy with the T. That's how actually Tracy with the T is the reason why I know this whole sector. I the, the, she introduced me to this whole sector. I didn't know her. She was a little cute thing, you know, all dressed up. Um, real cute little girl. Used to be. I think they call her Mud Dog or Tree Dog. They call her Tree Dog or whatever. And uh, who else? The Wiley Show. Wiley's changed a lot. Um, who else? Who else do I like? Ooh, TSCC. Ooh, honey. She was a mess. That whole gang. It was like a lot of gangs in the beef sector thing. But boy, oh boy, let's talk about Rita. The greatest roaster or whatever her name is. So I, you know, Jay Wilson used to give her all kinds of accolades and I just didn't understand. Okay, another, some other people in the beef sector who, I'm sorry, before I get into that. Um, I love me some zero tolerance. Love ZT. Love, love, love ZT. Um, and then uh, Olivia, Olivia, what her... <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> and um, there was another lady who used to. Oh, oh. Um, okay, there's another lady who had that skin disease. I don't know what happened to her. And then um, Nicole Tyler, Taylor, Nicole Tyler. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Nicole. She had some really good um, videos, um, conscious black conscious dealings, but I, I don't know what happened to her. Anyway. So getting back to Rita. Okay, so Rita. Rita is a character <laughs> on the Black Beef sector of YouTube. Rita. Uh, Rita's real ghetto. Like real project mentality ghetto. Um, I'm assuming Rita doesn't have any higher education. I'm I'm also going to assume that Rita I'm just gonna say to me Rita she's like a drunkie a crackhead okay have I ever seen her doing crack now so this is all alleged but the way she acts the way she speaks and the way she carries herself the way she dresses like on video she just seems of the low low echelon of blacks um I, I think her social economic status is i don't know i don't know because you know you youtubers not i but you youtubers can rake in some money so i don't know what rita's income is what i will say is is that rita just seems like a, a crackhead a base head to me you know basic crackhead a junkie you know just just uncouth like 
and I know I can say I, I just made a video which was highly uncouth but Rita is like you know people with the projects that never leave the projects I mean like like never go past the corner store or the grocery store downtown or you know just they just their whole lives are the projects that's what Rita that's what Rita reminds me of you know the type that just and I don't think she's in the projects I don't know if she's ever lived in the projects I don't even know if Baltimore has projects I know Baltimore which I've been there is some parts of it is a rough is really rough and some of parts are just you know beautiful the the pier and the water and everything is really nice. Now, I've met a, a couple people from Baltimore and they don't act like Rita. Black people, they're very, um, you know, black middle class, you know, trying to fake being bougie and all that or whatever. Now, you know, how they are in their own turf, that's a whole nother, you know, thing or whatever. You know, people confront or whatever. But Rita, okay, so all, I'm saying all this to say, because I'm trying to give you background of my assumption of Rita. Now, that's my assumption, well, how she really is. You know, she could be a doctor. I, she could be the next president of the United States. That's not saying much, but she could be. But this is how I portray her or the gist that I've gotten from her on YouTube. Okay, so that's the background. So apparently Rita has a couple kids and I think Rita is married to a person, a man by the name of Bill. So this past weekend, I think on my Facebook and on YouTube, I got a picture of a woman. It was two pictures. You know, this person is missing. I was like, oh, you know, whatever. So I get on YouTube and, you know, they're saying, oh, la la is missing. And there's a ransom note and blah, blah, blah. But Lala is Rita's darter. This is not the first time that Rita has had a scam on YouTube and has gotten money from people. Now, mind you, you know, I'm assuming or allegedly Rita is a junkie, like a crackhead or a perkhead or a bass head, some type of head, whatever. And it's like, and I don't think she has teeth. And, you know, she's only in her 30s, you know, with no teeth. So this past weekend, they're saying that you know, Lala is missing. Now, anyone with any sense would know, okay, so you got the crackhead needing money. Like anyone who's ever dealt with crackheads, base heads, junkies, perk heads, whatever, you can't take whatever they say with a grain of salt. Now, mind you, you know, they said that her daughter was missing, but come on. Again, Rita's a crackhead. So anything that has to do with money, you have to be like, okay, money, crackhead, no. You stay away. I'm just letting you know, because obviously some of you stupid people, you guys are so stupid. So then they said that Lala was missing. I think I got something either on my YouTube or my Facebook. Okay. And then there's a ransom note. Someone sent Rita a ransom note and Rita showed it off for $7,000. Why not ten? Why not $5,000? I don't know, but it was $7,000. And then someone um, from this other group panel was saying that Rita was mad because Facebook or not Facebook, YouTube or Google didn't give her her $7,000. Oh my God. So... There's a ransom No, Rita's, I mean, not Rita, Lala's missing. Well, guess what? Sunday evening, Lala shows up. Not only that, Lala lives with her grandmother, who is Rita's mother. Lala said that she told her grandmother that she was leaving. Lala said that she was literally around the corner. Four minutes away, four minutes away. I don't know if four minutes away, walking, four minutes away, jogging, four minutes away, you know, driving. I don't know, but Lala said she was only four minutes away 
and that the grandmother knew that she, where she was. The grandmother, she was talking to the grandmother all of Thursday and Friday, you know, and then I, for some reason she stopped talking to him Saturday, Sunday. Okay. So the grandmother was in on it. Again, this is, I don't get it how people can cry, how a crackhead, a basic, a junkie can cry wolf so many times and then people fall for it each time. Like, how stupid can you be? There are so many more important things in life than having crackheads throw scams and people bite it. And it's just like, but this is not the first time that you guys have bit. Like, what does it take? You, people are, literally, people are just so stupid. What does it take for you to understand when a crackhead yells for help and it has to do with money? No, it's not the help that she needs. She needs, okay, yeah, it is help. She needs help to buy drugs. Like, the CPS has been to her house. You know, she gives, she does lives for like 10 and 12 hours, you know, 5 to 10 hours it's like oh my god who who does that who does that and it's like i just don't understand how people keep falling for the rigmarole like i don't know who which is worse i don't know if rita with the you know the rita the junkie the baddest roaster and i know what she's roasting honey she's roasting her drugs i don't know if she's worse or if it's the stupid people who give her money, knowing that she is scamming them out of the money. But you know what? It's not It's not my money. No, no, Rita would never get five cents from me. I mean, literally, nobody probably would, but I would never send my hard-earned money to Rita for nothing. I would send my money all the way to a little child in Africa before I sent five Five cents to read it in life ever. I, I, actually, I should do that. But when are you guys going to get it? And it's just so funny that you guys keep falling for it. Like how, I just don't understand how stupid and gullible and naive people are. Like, are you guys trying to see who's the stupidest people in the world on black YouTube or something? Because Rita definitely has your numbers. And you guys look dumb. You know, there was like 10 people on this panel discussing Rita. I'm like, she's a fucking crackhead. You, everybody and their mama knows that this is a lie and a scam. And the girl is 21 years old. Now, how many, when you're 21, honey, you don't have to report to nobody no one you're 21 you are grown and and rita wasn't even in contact with her 30 days prior i don't even think the rita had her daughter's phone number like who does that i tell you you baltimoreans y'all ooh, you guys are some shysty negroes honey especially you junkies but that's a junkie from anywhere a junkie from anywhere are masters at getting money for people in order to, you know, do their drugs. I'm serious. I Now, a good friend of mine, she does drugs. Um, and she was to the point where she was a drunkie, but she kept a job. You know, she has a house. You know, her credit is good. Like, she was a different kind of junkie. Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess not all junkies are like her. You know what I'm saying? Um, but y'all gotta y'all gotta stop this. And the fact that Rita would put her daughter, you know, literally in front of millions of people because of money. You know, and that reminds me of back in the day in the 80s or 90s when crackheads, you know, would sell their kids to get a, you know, to get high or whatever, have them, their kids be raped and molested or all that, you know, the, the drug man to do that so that they could get a hit. Same thing, same thing, same, exact same thing. Rita did the exact same thing that crackheads were doing, what, 30, 40, 40, 40 years ago. Rita's still doing it today. 
you are a disgrace to every mother alive, Rita. I just want to let you know that you are a disgrace and you really need to get your shit together. You need to go to rehab. You really do. I, I wish I would be on live and looking at other people's lives if I knew my child was missing. No. I mean, I would probably be on live saying, you know, please help find my child. You know, please this, please that. I would call the FBI. I would be at the, the sheriff's department or the police department, whatever. Like, I hope that never happens to me. But if it did, my God. Well, you know what? You ain't got to worry about it because I don't cry wolf. I do not cry wolf. It takes a lot for me to get on anywhere and say I need. Now, the only thing I might cry wolf for is this tummy tuck that I want. But other than that, no, no, no. You, you, and I go through shit every day. Not every day. I'll say every week. Yeah, every week. I've been through some stuff. And I'll continue to be through some stuff or whatever. But you rarely hear it from me. Rita, I don't even look at her particularly. I can't get through maybe four minutes. I can't. I can't. I, can't, I just can't deal with people with that type of mentality. I don't really get down with druggies, junkies, crackheads. I, I'm just not. I'm not saying that I'm better. I'm just saying that I don't. Crackheads and me, we just don't mix. We don't. I forgot what I was about to say. This is just a disgrace. Just a disgrace. And then, oh, they want to commit Rita the crackhead and her crackhead ass mama wants to commit the child. They want the crackheads want to commit the, their daughter. I'm like, oh, honey, you would never, ever, if I was Lala, I would never speak to them again. If someone tries to commit you to, you need to walk away. You need to be as far away as possible, especially if nothing is really wrong with you. As away from the people. If someone tries to commit you or to put you in jail, let that be the last time you ever see them in life. In life, you go the opposite direction of whatever, whoever they are. I don't care who it is. Okay, if it's your mama, your pastor, your sister, your cousin, your husband, or whatever. If you are functionally okay and they want to put you in jail or put you away from some shit that they did, no, you need to walk away. I mean, literally walk away and never look back. Go far away from these crazy, insane people and let them die as they are. And you know how some family members, like I have a family member who, um, a cousin, a distant cousin, and her brother was like, yeah, that's my, my, no, he said that my grandfather had asked about his sister. And I was like, who? And then he told me, I was like, okay, well, where is she? And then he was like, oh, she's, we think she's in Oregon. I said, you think she's in Oregon? Okay. Okay. I said, well, what do you mean you think you've never, you haven't talked to her? He was like, no, I haven't talked to her in like 20 or 30 years. It's like, what? Like, granted, I have sisters that I don't deal with, but I know where they are. Okay. It's not like, well, it could be, it might get like that. But still, um, I think that's what Lala should do. I think Lala, she, she's in Baltimore. I think she needs to either come out to Cali or go to Atlanta or go live in Texas. But move far away as possible from these crazy people and start a new life. And she may want to take her little brother and sister with her. Because Rita, the crackhead, and the mama, allegedly, they just... You don't need toxic people. You know, that's like, this is the ultimate toxic family member that you need to stay away from. Okay, Lala? Lala, I wish you the best. And I'm sorry, young lady, that you had to go through this with your with your um, mother and grandmother. And I hope to goodness you weren't in on it. I pray to God you weren't in on it. But you know, you never know. Okay, that's it about that. Bye.